Hello, today I am going to review the Nikon 24-120 f4ZS lens, a lens I waited so much for like most of you, 3 months to be exact, but it is here and I cannot wait to use it on one of my travel projects. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima and I am a professional travel photographer. I've been using Nikon for photography for the past 15 years, but never tried a lens like this. I always wanted to, but I was also doing wedding photography and corporate events, and I opted for brighter lenses. Now I want to downsize my travel kit, and a lens like this is a godsend. The Nikon 24-120 is a great all-around lens, with a lot of features. It doesn't have a zoom lock because this lens doesn't suffer from zoom creep. I walked 4 kilometers while testing the lens and I never had a problem with the barrel extending. This lens weighs just 630 grams, which makes it one of the most light lenses in its class. A good start for what might be the perfect traveler's lens. The zoom ring is rubberized and turns smoothly, it has just a bit of stickiness. Video makers are going to enjoy using this lens. It has a 77mm filter thread. On the back of the lens we find a very useful function button that is very nice to use. In the main camera menu you can choose from one of 21 different functions. Also a focus switch and my favorite thing about this lens, besides the image quality, we get a nice metal customizable ring. I am also a Fuji user and I got used to an aperture ring on my lenses, so that is exactly what I did with this one. I assigned the option to change aperture with it. Well, it comes that way. The ring turns smoothly and it is a joy to use, but you can also change it to adjust exposure compensation, ISO or do nothing. The focusing ring has no hard stops at either end, making it harder to know when you have reached infinity focusing. The ring has enough resistance to make fine adjustments without much effort. The overall build quality of the lens is great, it is made from plastic but it feels like good quality plastic, and the mount is made from aluminium that has a rubber gasket around it. Yes, this lens is weather sealed, you can't have a great travel lens without weather sealing. The lens has a nice smooth finish, nice engraved numbers and text, it doesn't disappoint when it comes to build quality, for a lens at this price point it shouldn't. In my testing for this review, I enjoyed using the lens a lot. I really have nothing negative to say. Oh wait, yeah, the cheap lens hood, but I will let that slide. Some of you will complain about the more plastic build, but I am okay with that because it reduces the weight. This is an idea, they should release two versions of a lens, plastic for people that want a light lens and a metal version for people that want a more premium feel. The image quality for a zoom like this is outstanding in my opinion. The center sharpness is great at all focals starting from f4, but the corners are a bit soft. Stopping down the lens to f5.6 gives it a boost in contrast and sharpness in the corners, and a small improvement in the already great center. This is maintained all the way from 24 to 120. Stopping down the lens to f8 or 11 improves the corners a bit and the center remains unchanged with great resolution and contrast. Overall the image quality on this 45.6 megapixel sensor is amazing. You get so many details and the contrast and micro contrast around smaller objects in the frame is great. For such a long zoom the image quality is impressive. It really looks like a new generation of glass from Nikon. You get a bit of vignetting with this lens, but that is easily correctable in camera or in post. The flaring is very well controlled and it has no problem with chromatic aberrations. The minimum focus distance is 35 cm. The autofocus when used for stills is fast and accurate and I had no problem with it. It is also very quiet which makes it great for video. Speaking about video, this lens is great when it comes to focus breathing. I was expecting more because of the long range, but it has just a bit of focus breathing. 
The lens doesn't have image stabilization, but in-camera stabilization is enough for most situations when it comes to photo or video, as you can see in these examples here. If you are thinking f4 is not good enough for low light, well, in some cases combined with the IBIS in the camera, you get very nice results in photo and video. Being an f4 and a fairly long zoom lens, it can give you some nice subject separation. The transition between in and out of focus is nice and smooth. The background is, how most people call it these days, creamy and it doesn't get crowded when you have a lot going on in the background. Overall, this is a great do-it-all lens. Travel, landscape, street, and of course video. They really thought about video when they built this lens. If you travel a lot for your photography, this is a must-have lens. It is light, packed with features, and of course sharp, starting from f4, and even better at f5.6. Let's not forget weather sealed. Nikon really did a great job with the recent line of zooms. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support me even more, check out my presets pack and use the links in the bio. See you next time.